I really like their dynamic, but it's very funny to me. I was reading online, some people were saying that they thought Emily was unlikable. But I think she is not only extremely relatable, but very funny. <laughs> Got to be around here somewhere. He wouldn't leave this house. I don't know what to think anymore. You run into that detective fella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think he wanted a good guy. Oh, you know, like us. Will he be all right with her coming? Praise the mother. He don't need to know about all that. Just help the Let go. Just calm down. It ain't time yet. God, it hurts. As far as I can tell, Detective Combi seems to be solving problems, not causing them. Just be ready in case he starts anything. Oh yeah, this room's all messed up now. that huh? what, what are my objectives right now the two orderlies break into dr. Gray's office yeah. all right we can do that hmm huh? is right. Oh yeah, the door is blocked over here, I think, right? Oh no, it's not. I can go over here. Okay. Sure, Floppy Bit says, I wonder how good a co-op game like this would be. Uh, Resident Evil Outbreak is pretty good. I need the key. And that's kind of like this. Detective Conby, good to see you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, Detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait. Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not much. We eat, we drink. We pay tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory. The usual. Then why all the excitement? There is just something about tonight. Something that's different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new words for the prayer thanks to your buddy Jeremy. She'll come and turn the world inside out. And things will begin again. Her mask is different. That sounds strangely threatening. You should come. Oh, God damn it, Grace. Stay put for once. Hmm. First floor hall key. These wouldn't want them to get lost. I can put the last thing over here just to get it out of my inventory, right? Oh no, they put away all of her stuff. All right, well, which is interesting. Oh no, I can put it here. Oh, but I lost the medicine because they didn't interact with it. Interesting, it must have been archived. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, I believe right now we can also reopen the safe and get stuff. Right? Because wasn't that where stuff was? Huh? 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 Huh?
must be a spare key to Dr. Gray's office in here somewhere. I don't have the combination for this. But maybe Jeremy did. It worked. All right. There we go. The last... Dr. Gray's office. Dearest... All to myself. Let's see if... Figure this guy out. Stairwell key. I have... Got the France item. Let's immediately go upstairs and do some France. Pergy says, gotta turn in. Good night, Pergy. Hope you had a fun time on the stream. Thank you so much for watching. All right, so let's let's keep going. Return back up here, use France. Um, unlock the stairwell. Realistically, is probably a good idea. There's something missing. There we go. There's nothing in here? It's just a dra- what? <laughs> okay. Grace's drawings. What? There's another puzzle here? What the hell? All right. Um, do I need to use the stairwell key right now? Hold on. I, I have the first floor hall key, right? Are we just going to go use that right now real quick? I don't know what that actually goes to is my problem. Stairwell key, first floor hall key. Oh, that's here. That is what this is. Okay. No, no, no. That's surprisingly neat. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Ah, so there are new puzzles. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So there's a new puzzle in McCarthy's room that I have to solve. So I probably do have to go to the stairwell. Because there's nowhere else for me to go currently, because this room is locked. Yep. I can't take this much more. This has to end. All right. Now we run downstairs. Are we going to just have to do the brain puzzle again? Are we going to ever be able to go into any of these other doors that we weren't able to go into before? Yep. Take this. Then we get the cool scene. Or I guess not. Radio. Hypothetical. Get the fuse. Don't mind if I do. It's funny that it took until the fuse actually was like done being screwed, unscrewed, even though I could cancel the animation. There we go. And if I remember correctly, it was. Down, 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 down. There we go. 
That's better. Okay. And to do this part, it's pretty easy. We rotate this to be on the bottom. And then I believe it's just this. Got a big head. It's just not that. Nope. Uh, this one. Nope. This one. What? Is it not this? I thought it was for sure. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, can't get in there now. I think we just leave. And then, yeah, we get this. Why does this keep happening? What am I supposed to do? Just run. Slip on by. Go. Sneak on through. There we go. Alrighty. Hey, we did it. And now we're fine. And we're back here. Sure. Time to have a look around this place. Sure are. Noose still does nothing. Still can't interact with it. Very weird. We got to do this. And then the code is 614641. Uh, do Jeremy's Darkness. Goes over here. Right, wasn't it? There we go. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. There we go. And this will bring us to the boat, I think. Isn't uh, there is something back here as well that I should grab, I think. Hey Tony Kitsu, thank you for subscribing. That's great. That's really helpful. Helps the channel quite a bit. Alright, let's uh thought this was all I had to do. What? Isn't this a room? Uh, or is there another area? Oh, yeah, I have to jump down. That's what it is. All right. No, is this? This is where Jeremy's hiding, right? Hello? Is anyone there? Jeremy? I need help. Wait. Can you hear me? I'm stuck in the mud and the fire is taking Jeremy, me. Where are you? The motor is dead. I can't do anything more. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll figure something out. I'll get the boat running. All right. So we know the exactly what we need to do here. I'm just going to try to scavenge as much equipment as I can, items and stuff, because I'm very low on ammo and supplies. And I really hate the bugs here. They're such a pain to fight. I guess I can just kind of move quickly. It doesn't actually matter. Okay, bye. Bye, buggy. All right. The boat's wedged itself right into the bayou. 
Mm -hmm. If I get the motor started, I could try reversing back into the river. Is that what we actually do? Is that... I, I feel like that's not how we solved that the first time. Unlock that. Oh, this was just for a uh, collectible, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Blah. Waste of my time. Waste of my life. All right. Uh, so now we move up here. I guess we just have to go to the back end of the boat and do everything we needed to do to get the power back on, which should be relatively simple. Oh, yep, I remembered them being there. We can mostly ignore them. I'm not really too torn up about that. Looks pretty weak. I just There we go. It's amazing how quickly these levels go when you're uh when you're already familiar with the, everything in them. I like that, though. That's sort of the mark of a good survival horror game. Is like the first time you play through it, it takes 12 hours. The second time, it's 45 minutes. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the Resident Evil formula. I'm really interested in playing the originals. Um, the original Alone in the Darks. Up through New Nightmare, I would really like to do sometime. It would be really fun. Maybe we'll do that. Oh, come on. I turned off the steam. Uh, might be something fun to do for Halloween this year. We'll do uh, Alone in the Dark 1 through 3, just like we did Silent Hill 1 through 3 last year. Finish up Castlevania at that time, too. Still need to do the Albus run of Order of Ecclesia and finish up Circle of the Moon. Alrighty. Pull this. I kind of forgot where we left off in Circle of the Moon, but that's fine. It's not actually that hard of a game. We'll figure out where to go there when we when we get back to it. Uh, Castlevania Days will probably be back sometime before Halloween. I just haven't had time. I've been focusing on just finishing what we're what's on our plate. Still need to finish Kingdom Hearts as well. Whoa, I out of bounds. Uh, we still need to finish Kingdom Hearts 1 as well. There's just a few things that we just need to get back to. Oh, God, he's right next to me. Just grab everything we can. Eight pistol bullets. Love to see it. And nothing back here. Okay. Well, win some, you lose some. Thought there was stuff over here. Yeah, there is. Okay. Just different melee weapons. Got it. Well, I'll take a pipe. Whoa, whoa. 
Are you ready to tell me what happened in the act? I put a rope around my neck, and then I strangled all life from my body. Are you under the impression that you died? Uh, yes. No. Uh, I was supposed to die. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, that you were supposed uh, to die? Uh, I'm the catalyst. I had to die to make the story happen. He left his hat. What are you referring to, Jeremy? Thirty years ago, Frederick needed me to die. You're not making any sense. <laughs> and the thing has his hat. <laughs> Find hey. your focus. Hey! I cheated everyone. I didn't play my paw. Hey! I escaped hey. my doom. My destiny. Again. Find hey. your focus. Hey, I'm right here. What the hell is going on? Now everything is wrong. Nothing is in hey. place. Hey! I'm right here! Calm down, Mr. Conby. What do you want? Did... Were you... Were you not talking to Jeremy right now? I haven't seen Jeremy all day. Are you all right, Detective? No. Actually, actually I don't... I don't think so. Well, maybe. I'm gonna go look for Jeremy. Good. Let me know if you find him. That was Jeremy's self-deceit? A steamboat stuck in the mud? I'm not going to pretend I understand any of that. Jeremy was... A bunch of psycho... ...politic nonsense. Floppy Bits asks, are you excited for any new movies or are you not a movie guy? I'm a huge movie guy. Movies are my uh, biggest hobby. Uh, I work in the film industry. Um, I am very excited about many movies. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the, the best way to describe that. Garland Civil War is getting rave reviews. Late Night with the Devil is allegedly fantastic. Um, I belong here. I know that number. Where's that from? I did this. I wrote that. I know the combination. I carry it with me. Oh, he has a special item. One nine six six nine two LA private investigator. So is it six nine two? Yep. But yeah, I work in the film industry. I, I care a lot about movies. Pick a yoon. Old coin from the time when Louisiana was a Spanish colony. Detective, I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe. Thanks to good people like me and you. We are so similar. But you don't see all the things I do. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. Take care now. My coffee. So they have a previous relationship just like Emily had with um, Ruth or whatever. But yeah, there was a, there were quite a few. There's quite a few movies I'm interested in. I hear Cabrini is really good. How long have I been? Um, what was the other one people are going on about right now? Uh, Love Lies Bleeding. That's what it was. Uh, oh, I need to go into what's-his-name's room. But yeah, Love Lies Bleeding is supposedly really great. Haven't seen it yet, though. I have a, I have a buddy who went to see it like last night and said it was amazing. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing his shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? Look at that. It almost tricked me. I almost didn't realize what what it had what had happened. 
All right, so we're now in his in special segment. What is going on? Oh, I was wondering why it was so dark. <laughs> it just didn't have my flashlight on. So his nightmare is this place. I wonder why that is. Is this still corrupted or is it... It's the regular version. Because this should be Cassandra's room, right? Yep. This is basically exactly the same as the puzzle Emily did ever so slightly different. Goes there. That looks like it goes there. That definitely goes there. That goes there. Is this not it? No, it's not. This goes here. Yep. Right? Huh? What? It's just outside. But yeah, the movie I'm probably the most excited about is is Late Night with the Devil. Late Night with the Devil looks fantastic. This looks familiar. How am I back at the office? Jeremy's never been here. <laughs> Ooh, hell yeah! Give me this this Doom Jazz detective's office. Writing desk key. So moody. That's me. My husband has returned to steal one of our most valuable paintings. I'm sure he means to sell it. If you hurry, I'm sure you can track him down. Isn't it? How long has it been since I drowned myself in drinking depression? And it all felt so peaceful, slipping away into oblivion. A welcoming dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. Philanthropist Teddy Saunders goes mad, kidnaps child. I woke up from the sound of my office door closing shut. A messenger had left a telegram from Mrs. Saunders. She had a lead on where to find her husband and her kid. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. Oh, we found. We found where we're going. But what now? I used to drink so much back then. When was this exactly? What case was I working? I think I need to figure out where I'm going for what? It. what do I have to do? I know I have to put the the case together basically, but I I've interacted with everything. Oh, I can actually interact with this now, okay. Is there something else to find in here? Or did I just do it? Nope. I 
I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. What now? I'm still missing a few more pieces of the case, so do I have to go back out? It's the ground. Where is everything? Oh, Grace. Grace's last name is Saunders. So she's the kidnapped. She's a kidnapped little girl whose father put her here. Interesting. Can't even interact with that. Where's the stuff to interact with? Come on. I need probably one more thing. So. Is it in my trash can? Oh, no. It just wasn't letting me interact. Got it. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state, but he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. Uh, Raph says, apparent, I want to watch Sidney Sweeney's nun horror movie. I've heard extremely good things about Immaculate. I, I do want to see that. Usually when people say a horror movie is mid, uh, it usually means that it's a really cool art film that they don't get. And I can't say that that is definitely the case with that movie, but I would not be surprised if that was the case with that movie. Oh, Snipey just, uh, just rated. Thank you so much. Hey, welcome. We're finishing up the second character playthrough of Alone in the Dark 2024. Hope you're doing well. Just investigate a little bit. Nothing to get over here. This is, in fact, David Harbour, his character. A bad man, but he had principles keeping him from handing out information about his yields. So he needed some convincing. All right. Look at that cheeked up statue. Well, every case can't be squeaky clean. I'm full on shotgun ammo. Yeah, I can't even... Interesting. Alright. Stream is going well. Hello, Raiders. My name is Toaster. I play video games on the internet. You may have seen me do YouTube Let's Plays of games like Password and Baldur's Gate 3 with Keith Ballard slash Boring Keith slash Marrow Hyena. I also play games by myself. That's what we're doing right now. Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting, only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand and asking me to get the hell out. I don't remember this at all, but I can't say it didn't happen. Let's go. Get stun locked. Oh, you're not dead yet. Now you're dead. I wasted an ammo. An ammo. God, my English. I wasted a shot. It's fine. Press left control to sneak. I probably won't. I will probably just kill all the enemies. Uh, is Am I going to be in knee deep water? Is that why? Oh, 
Okay. That was weird. That was a weird cut. All right. Very good. All righty. I don't actually need to really interact with them. I can just move. <laughs> I can juke them all. I'm I'm not scared. There we go. Ooh, I want whatever's in there. Hello. Sure. We'll close that door. What's over here, huh? Ooh, I should definitely heal myself. That could be really bad. Ding. Uh, okay, well, I wasted that. That's fine. Uh, what is over here? Ooh, candlestick. We definitely needed that. Okay, uh, let's explore a little bit. I can't go that way. Can't go that way. Okay, never mind. Let's not explore for a little bit. I like this level a lot more than I like Emily's Trenches. This is pretty enjoyable. That's, uh, Molotov. On my way to the hotel, the Morton gang caught up with me. I owed the money. A lot of it. I can't remember what for. Probably something. Dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. It was a stupid move. They'd be back in greater numbers. Hmm. All right. Full health, tons of ammo. Let's reload all my guns. Okay, shotgun shells I'm full on. Let's get some more. Pistol is good. Oh, please. Be gone. Not this way. We're not, I am not playing this game with you monsters. Unless I am legally obligated to fight you. In which case I will play this game with you. Burn to death, idiots. Yeah, no. Oh, the enemy wasn't guarding the area I started in. He was guarding the area I needed to go to. Got it. I'm so good at video games, chat. I'm so dumb. All right, uh, let's move forward. Nothing for me. All right, that's fine. We'll just leave. As the mantra goes, if shit sucks, hit the bricks. Goodbye. Toy talisman, curious napkin. I'm going to be missing just three of these. Because there, there's one I know for sure that I missed, which I'm bummed about. But Hotel bill dated December 21st through 25th. Machine gun cartridge. Bullets. I found it. 
In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting of the signature, Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. about that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. Feels vaguely familiar. Now, if I were me, I would design the level to have some cool stuff beyond this door. David Thornhill. I recognize this room, but I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them, but where? Telephone directory. Dercetto, yep. Hotel St. George. Right? DeWitt boarding school. That's right, he was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Whoa. River. This is where I caught up with him. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? D's nuts got him. I really showed him. All right, nothing here. This is going to be a long episode. I forgot to cut the recording forever ago. Congratulations. We got it. We got a huge episode. Hmm. I smell carnitas, which means it's taco night. I'm very excited about that. Let it be known. There are tacos here. Brewing just brought them to me. Exactly on cue. Is this going to be like a big open area? Or did I just get turned around? What the hell just happened? That was wacky. Hey, we got this one. Edward had heard the whispers for years. When he lived in Brooklyn, it was only on rare occasions, like when he as a child climbed that tall tree in Central Park, or when he almost drowned in the Hudson River, trying to save his despaired mother. The whispers became more common as he moved to New Orleans, but still rare enough to be ignored. Now as he walks the halls of Darceto, he knows what is calling him. He doesn't want to admit it, but the dark young in the conservatory is telling him to sacrifice. The Gabri Sancorn. The goat without horns? That's what that means, right? Cabri as in Capricorn. Goat. San as in without. Corn. Horn. Not a guess. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't speak Spanish or Latin. But I know a thing or two about etymology. I can guess some stuff. I'm pretty good at guessing. Jeez, lay off me, won't you? God. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Was any of this real? How do you mean? This day, just... So much is happening. I can't... I think I've lost my head. <laughs> the enemy's still there in the cutscene because it's in-engine. <laughs> I mean... I am sorry. 
I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. No, really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. It's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him. We? Do it yourself. I'm down there with him, remember? <laughs> Can I really save <laughs> that? <laughs> I actually have to take the enemy out now. Buddy, you really harsh the mood. <laughs> Come on, dude, you're cramping my style. Uh, uh, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Oh God! What is happening? Well, that's a problem. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm going to mute the game for a minute. We're going to play in quiet silence while I figure out what physics object is Half-Life 2 glitching while we're walking around. Huh. Can't say I've had that happen before in a video game. Okay, it's over. Okay, that was bananas. <laughs> I wonder if um if we walk down there it will still happen. This must be where the bridge is operated. Cuz I want to talk to Grace before we lose that opportunity. That was a that was a bananas experience. That was wonderful. Tadukitsu says Fallout 4. <laughs> Uh, that was wild. I'm so glad that happened. That is the flavor I needed for just now. All right, let's talk to Grace. <laughs> there must be a way to save you both, right? Why else would I be here? Maybe the dark man just likes it when you suffer. Damn, girl. Quit rule of rosing on me. Don't worry, kid. I'll think of something. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> All right, well, now that the glitch has passed. <laughs> I think it's time for us to uh, turn on the bridge. <laughs> oh, what flavor. This game's got delicious texture. You gotta love it. Nothing's happening. It's like something's holding it back.
Is there going to be a big Kraken boss fight that we need to deal with? Nope. Alright, that doesn't hurt me. I gotta go down here? Where do I go? What am I doing? What's happening? Do I have to hatchet it? What in Sam Hell's going on? Yes, I do. I do have to melee it. Oh no, I'm out of bounds. There we go. There we go. All right, the problem is I'm out of bounds, or I was out of bounds, and it wants me to pick up an ax, um, but I can't interact with anything. So we might need to reload again. <clears throat> Things are getting wacky. Oh, yay, and no more, no more glitch. There must be a way to save you both, right? Why else would I be here? Maybe the dark man just likes it when you suffer. Don't worry, kid. I'll think of something. I'm not holding my breath. I can use my melee weapon again. We're no longer soft locked. This should be good. Nothing's happening. It's like something's holding it back. All right, this section's a little glitched. <laughs> Be gone. There we go. All right. There we go. And now we just break this thing. Is this an ads that I've had since the temple? I guess it wasn't that long ago. I haven't really done much melee combat since that point. Oh, performance. Get off of me. You pests. Alright. Should be good now. go pilot the boat by the house to the sinking car we can do that hop on down stranger things yep 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 oh I know Hopefully I don't need to find keys for the boat. If that happens, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sad. Nope, we're good.
Is that Emily in there? That's what it looked like. Oh my god, Carnby. Are you okay? Don't leave me alone. What the hell have you been doing? What's going on here? Look at this mess! I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house. Now get out! <sighs> hey, Detective. Mr. Carnby. I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. <sighs> this place? It's... There are some very disturbed figures around here, and I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I want to know what he's hiding. Emily, don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. <laughs> Their rapport is very charming. 